Quick note on a Monday morning between the 9 and 10 o'clock, uh, we're going to be talking with Kelton Hatch from Idaho Fish and Game. And, you know, we're getting into some hunting seasons now. He'll have some thoughts on that. I'm surprised he's not going to be out there. But he'll uh, he'll have some thoughts on that as well as offering some safety tips and just some general things, questions you may have. He'll be able to answer those. We look forward to seeing him on a monthly basis and sometimes even more frequently. Coming up on 844, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. 63. Not going to get much warmer today. We'll get much wetter over the next several days, and you're not going to see any sun unless you're traveling out of state <laughs> for about a week. We have a caller with us. You're up next. You're on the air with Bill Colley on KLIX. Go ahead. Bill, uh, this McMullen guy down in Utah, uh, through 2015, was on the roster of the Council on Foreign Relations. For people that don't know what that means, that is the elitist group in the United States that wants a world government to make us slaves into their global plantation. And uh, he's a phony conservative if there ever was one. And so you see all this big money coming. I wouldn't be surprised even George Soros was pumping money into his campaign. You know, to just split out the vote, they're going to drag Hillary across the finish line any way they can. But this guy is not a conservative. He's not on the 2016 uh, Council on Foreign Relations list. But just to refresh people's memories out there, the Council on Foreign Relations, this elitist group, um, they don't care who wins the election because their goal is world government under the United Nations. And this, of course, where we're getting the refugee program Common Core, we're getting all of the gun control. It's all coming down through the United Nations. These people want world government. This guy is as phony as a, well, as a three-dollar bill. If you sure. look, if you look at those membership roles of the CFR, now somebody years ago told me that Rick Perry had been a member, and I checked out the history of it. It turns out it was somebody else named Perry. He wasn't, which you know allowed me to suddenly you know feel a little bit better about him. But if you check out the membership roles. They're almost identical to the Bilderbergers, the Bohemian Grove, as well as the Trilateral Commission. So you get, it's not just Republicans, you get people like Zbigniew Brzezinski and, and all of these other elitists who are essentially pushing the United Nations agenda. Uh, they're, they're globalists. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, these, these so-called think tanks, and you see them, they get, they, they get invited in to be talking heads on these TV news programs and pontificate and the like. But the ultimate goal is, is not to make your life better or my life better, it is to ensure that they all feather their own nests. Absolutely. It's always about them first. And, of course, Hillary, it's all for Hillary. And if Hillary's elected, this country, uh, she will finish the uh, socialist takeover of this country, which Obama largely has already completed. And it's going to get a lot worse really quick. It's very scary. You know, I'm I've been studying the political scene for a good number of years, and I've never been so frightened and scared for the history, the future of generations of this country. And it looks like now, right now, I mean, unless things turn around pretty fast and Trump really uh, forgets about all of the, the sexual innuendos and so forth being thrown at him and gets back to his agenda as to what got him elected as the nominee in the first place. Are we, you know, we really, but the national media is just totally in the tank, as you pointed out, and it's just really sickening to see uh, good people falling for this because they, you know, we go into slavery for lack of knowledge. I think there's something that's paraphrasing a biblical uh, deal, but I tell you, folks, we've got to do what we can to and uh, to get Trump elected. Uh, we're not electing him as a pastor; we're electing him as somebody that'll Spot make on. this country great again. Thank you. Hey, thank you much for the call. I think that that, uh, that's a, that, that last point is one you cannot you know, lose track of. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, and the Bible tells you not to put your trust in princes in the first place. Uh, so this is, this is worldly. It's not otherworldly. It's not, it's not the great beyond. He brings up a good point about these organizations and who people are involved with, and you've got to look behind the labels sometimes. It's 848. Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX, News Radio 1310.com. A guy named Giano Caldwell, writing in Washington Examiner, says that Trump has divorced the Republican Party and formed the party of Trump. 
which does not make this guy happy, and I'll tell you why. He says, although I will never support or endorse Hillary Clinton, as a principled conservative, I can no longer give Trump a pass, especially when our House and Senate majorities hang in the balance. In other words, when they say, well, I'm a principled conservative, what does that mean? It means they're an elitist. It means that they think they know better than you know. And it means that they're out simply to feather their own nests. What is his own nest? Well, at the bottom it says Giano Caldwell is a lobbyist with Caldwell Strategic Consulting. So now you can add not only to principled, but what does strategic mean? Well, we go out there and find how we can enrich our clients at your expense. (laughs) That's what that's all about. Keep your eye on this, folks. Conservatism is supposed to be about making lives better for everyone, not for the principled and the strategic. You're up next about 10 minutes to go until 9 o'clock. You've got one more hour. I shouldn't give the impression we're going away. You're up next on KLIX. Well, we might be going away, Bill. Um, You know, uh, the other night, Eric Trump was on. You know, Eric and Donald Trump Jr., if I'm not mistaken, when you listen to them, they sound very objective. They're not just here coddling their father. They make sense. And anybody that actually listens to them has to believe that their father has done something right. Because, you know, let's face it, the fruit doesn't fall far from the tree. And so you hope that that has some effect. But Donald Trump Jr. and Eric have been out campaigning on their own in states other than their father. And one of the things he said the other night on the O'Reilly whatever show was that he believes that there's people that have never cared about politics, that have never voted before. And the vast number of them that show the potential of doing that voting, that it could change the whole dynamic of this thing. It's just like the Brexit in England. Nobody ever gave it a chance in hell, except for Nigel Farage. And uh, it changed everything. Now, I may be grasping at straws, which at this point, I, I don't know what else to do other than pray. But, you know, hopefully it's going to be that way, I hope. All well, well and, and thank you, too, because Nigel Farage has said that he, right up until that evening of the Brexit vote, he lost confidence that his side was going to win because he was listening to all of the pollsters. <laughs> I mean, you know, we all have moments where we, we have our doubts. But, you know, my dad used to tell me it's uh, always darkest before the dawn. Gosh, if I had a dollar for every time he told me that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd own my own radio chain today. It's 851 now. Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and News Radio 1310.com. A reminder if you're listening today, I thank you. We've got a lot more to talk about. In fact, our, our, our segment on firearms, firearm safety, and the Second Amendment for the week is coming up following 9 o'clock news today. If you have difficulty, though, hearing this show, and gosh, I hope that you know that you can get it taken care of. The best place to do that, of course, is to go see Dr. Christine Pickup, a doctor of audiology at Mount Harrison Audiology in Rupert. It's the only locally owned hearing center now in southern Idaho. And she's trying to open your world to new sound experiences. A new hearing device is available which works with the brain to help those with hearing loss hear more naturally than any previous aid on the market. And there's a two free, uh, two-week uh, trial, free trial with these new devices. You can call today to schedule your personal fitting appointment Open your world to better hearing. Call Mott Harrison Audiology at 312-0957. That's 312-0957. I thought I thought I was having problems hearing myself, and I was getting ready to drop by and see the doctor, but I, I was sitting here one day and thinking, I'm not hearing anything in my left ear. Turns out somebody, you know what happens with headphones? The wires get moved around, and eventually a wire breaks, and all of a sudden you're only getting sound on one side. So it wasn't the fact that I was going deaf. Still, at my age... It's critical, obviously, to have someone occasionally check you out on those things. I would remind everybody that uh, that hearing is one of those things that she likes to say is so critical to uh, to your everyday life. We were talking about Trump and, of course, all of the assaults that are taking place on him by media. It's funny how they this – this, I saw this this morning at the Daily Caller, and it says, CNN anchor Jake Tapper 
blasted interim Democratic National Committee Chair Donna Brazil and TV One host Roland Martin on Thursday for their apparent, apparent involvement in leaking a Democratic town hall question to the Clinton campaign in March. It's very, very troubling, Tapper told WMAL Radio in Washington. The leak was revealed in a batch of emails stolen, the writer says, from the Gmail account of Clinton campaign chairman John Podesta and released by WikiLeaks on Tuesday. All right, it's very, very troubling. So what are you going to do about it over at CNN? Oh, do about it? Oh, I'm going to tell you that I'm wringing my hands and I'm calling it troubling. Yes, but will there be any uh, efforts? Because Donna Brazil is a regular on your program, and on many of your shows over there, are you going to bar her? Oh, it's very, very troubling. Hello? NBC fired Billy Bush. Maybe you should tell Donna Brazil to pack it in. Oh, well... She's a woman, and she's a person I don't. She's a person of color. I, oh, she's a fellow traveler. Oh. In other words, they, they wring their hands for a couple of days and say, oh, it was a terrible, oh, how did we ever allow ourselves to get duped? And by the way, we're having her back on the air next Monday. Hope you can tune in. Media Research Center says the networks have been covering for Hillary Clinton on WikiLeaks, ignoring mention of other journalists who were involved with passing long secrets to her. Funny how that works. Well, we wouldn't want to embarrass anybody in the club even though they're violating all journalistic ethics. Uh, nope, nope, nope. What journalistic ethics? We don't have them. <laughs> Gave them a long time ago. Because you know, being a fellow traveler is cool, and communism's cool, and, 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 and that way everybody will equal, and, and we can have the United Nations make everybody share everything they have with everybody else, including those people who don't work, just like we do in America right now. I do, do need to note uh, some of this talk about Russia. Every time I hear it's Russia's fault. That's become the latest with the Democrats. Blame Russia. These were the people who were Russia's best friend during the Cold War. And now they're saying, well, yeah, but it's all Russia. And uh, pay no attention to the fact that we're filthy liars. It's all Russia. They found out we were filthy liars, and now they're telling everybody else. It's their fault. You're the party that is tough on foreign policy and opposes Russia? And then you nominate this guy? Whose role model is Vladimir Putin, the former head of the KGB? Excuse me, Candy asks, can I ask you a question? When you drew that red line in the sand about Syria, then what did you do, tough guy, when they crossed it? You drew another red line and said, well, all right, I've got to back up a couple of feet, but don't cross this line. Gosh, you did it again. All right, I'm going to keep stepping back, but tell you what, if you keep doing it, I'll have to step back again and draw another red line. That's, that's the type of uh, leadership we've had from his party. And, you know, they're trying to get us. Jill Stein, the Green Party candidate, said, was it yesterday or the day before, if she had a choice, she would support Trump over Hillary. And, of course, the deeply offended fellow traveler said to her, but, 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 you're a combi too. I mean, why would you do that? Not quite in those words, obviously, but that was what was meant. And she said, because Hillary's going to get us into a nuclear war with the Russians. Folks, if we have an enemy around, the, the, the Russians are not threatening any of our vital interests. China really isn't doing it either, but if you do consider you'd like to keep up with the Pacific shipping lanes, China's a far greater danger to that effort than Russia ever has been. It's 8.57. We've got to wrap up this first hour of the program. I do want to mention, of course, coming up in just a few minutes, Todd Eccles along with Forrest Anderson. We're going to be talking guns in the next hour. We're going to be talking about some safety issues. We're going to be talking about uh, some old general Second Amendment issues, taking some of your questions as well right here on News Radio 1310, KLIX, NewsRadio1310.com. Just discovered I need a new battery in my thermostat at home. Uh, we're going to have some cooler weather coming in the next few weeks. And uh, that is not necessarily a problem with my furnace, but you know, you got to get these things checked out to make sure what it is exactly is giving you a bit of a headache. If you're having difficulty, you better call the pros at Ramsey Hagen Electric in Burley. The team at Ramsey's is going to come out and make sure the job's done right the first time. Problem-free, cozy winners are found at Ramsey Heating and Electric. 2600 that's a tickle in my throat. That comes from sleeping in the cold last night <clears throat> because of my dead battery. 2600 Overland Avenue in Burley. Call them. The number is 678-0459. Ramsey Heating and Electric, where they sell warm winters and cool summers. Fox News is coming up next right here this morning on News Radio 1310, KLIX and NewsRadio1310.com. One more hour of top story 
with Bill Colley is just ahead.